embedded in each and every one of these pieces is a story, is evidence of craftsmanship, of intent, of purpose. I think there's something hugely and undeniably important about surrounding yourself with things that you like and love. Not a glittery glam teddy bear, but an amazing hat that women will occasionally, if I can get it to work, wear out in public. Early 20th century fireman's trampoline, a diptych by Rachel Monosoff. Early 1920s screen that almost looks like it's decoupage or period era uh, graffiti. I gravitate toward contemporary art not just on account of the subject matter, but because the price points are eminently approachable. It's interesting for reasons beyond what you know beats uniquely in your own cryptic heart. There's, um, there's a complexity to the exercise that has less to do with its relative position in art history and more to do with keeping your finger on the proverbial pulse of contemporary culture. You have to go to galleries routinely. You have to go to fairs. You have to speak with people who are artists themselves and be courageous enough to be the least intelligent person in the room for a while and muddle through until you're able to better articulate your own collecting preferences and really develop an at least cursory impression of what matters where, when, and why. That can be its own really noble and righteous source of joy. That also happens to be, I, should, I hasten to add, um, a wise investment over the long term early 20th century encyclopedia volumes with covers handmade by Rob Pruitt. This shredded cash piece hauntingly looks like a map of the European continent, which is doing a terrific job of shredding, metaphorically, the US dollar. These are opportunities to begin to incrementally or slowly piece together that ideal vision of yourself. What better place to start than these items, this site, this moment? Thank you.